Okay, we're doing some more Egypt work here. So, Noah, what have you done here? I just tapped tap into a mummy. Well, you, you dressed King Tut while he was living. I dressed King Tut when he was living. All right, and then in a little while, you turn him into a mummy and I'll come back. And then in a little while, I'll turn him into a mummy and come back. Okay, so let me know when you're, d when you're at that place, okay? One, two, three, go. So that's his death mask. That's his first coffin. And that's his solid gold coffin of King Tut. And he buried all his stuff with him. Yes, they buried all his things. They buried his clothes, his food, his furniture, his games with him. And his furniture. And his furniture. And he was only how old? 18. Yes, he was only 18 when he died. And he was the king of Egypt. Yes. Thank you. You're coming. Okay. What this? What's that? Oh, his jewelry. The jewelry, his necklace. You can put that on him. They put jewelry on the mummies. Jewelry. Brooklyn, what have you done? I, I, I found some, some treasures from King Tut. King Tut's tomb? Yeah. You found a vase and another mummy and a scarab beetle and a cartouche. Hey, okay, cool. See what else you find in his tomb because there's a lot of other cards to go through. King Tut's organs are being taken out and put into Coptic jars and then he will be wrapped up and made into a mummy. Right, Kate? Oh. So Kate's going to take the wrappings and wrap King Tut up. And I'll show you again when she's done with that. Kate, what did you do now? I wrapped up King Tut. You wrapped up King Tut, and now you're going to put him in his coffin. Let's see you do that. And put the lid on his coffin. Do you have any wrappings left to wrap up his wife? I'll try that. Thanks, Kate. So Kate wants to show uh, King Tut's wife all wrapped up, made into a mummy. <laughs> hey, Lily, what did you draw? The mummy of King Tut. The mummy of King Tut? Yeah. Ooh, you really did. And it's also a nice mummy. It's a nice mummy. Well, they're, they're all nice mummies. Yeah. And my dear, what are, what are you doing here? I am... Yes. Thanks. There are the four Coptic jars, Lily. Lily, they put his intestines, the mummy's intestines, lungs, stomach, and heart. Uh, what was the other thing? Heart. Heart, maybe, in those jars. And then, what? What are you doing in a tiny corner? A, a mummy. A mummy turtle. Uh, no, I'm doing this picture. Ooh, you're doing the thresher. Oh, my. So, Lily, tell me about your drawing of Egypt. My drawing about Egypt is a very nice drawing, and, um, well, I kind of like wanted to draw all this. I see three mummies. What are the mummies of? That one's a cat, that one's a cat, that one's a dog. Okay. And then you do a little statue here in the corner, yeah. and then you added this big thing. What's that? It's a necklace. It's and a this necklace. Is, and this is the thing holding the necklace. Oh, how nice. Cool, Lily. You're such a good artist. That's why I'm going to have two dogs when I grow up. Okay, bye. So, Lucy, what, what have you done here? Okay, and what's the next thing you're going to do? Um, How about you open up his coffin? Okay. And then these are the Coptic jars that you put his, his organs in here, is his lungs and his intestine. And, and then that's his wife, Mrs. Mrs. King Tut. Okay. Anything else? No? All right. Thanks.
is a show and tell a day and these two boys are making a list of a words um, we have a child investigating King Tut's tomb and the objects that they found in King Tut's tomb and he's putting cards together to find out what was found there. These kids are making a puzzle of King Tut in his uh, coffin. It's a big, kind of hard puzzle. As a continuation of our awe show and tell, these guys are doing a worksheet like this. And these girls are going to cut and paste um, words that start with awe. Nice job, girls. No, let me do know when you're done with that, okay? Yeah. So you're doing skip counting. Which which number are you skip counting? Count count that rod in your hand. The tan rod, what is the number? Oh, skip counting by sevens. You're counting by sevens. Okay. Let me know when Noah has finished his skip counting. And he's writing the answers. Noah, can you take a break from writing and let's let's read your skip counting, okay? Say seven. Seven. Fourteen. Twenty. One. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Forty-two. Forty-nine. Fifty-six. Sixty-three. Okay, and so now you're writing them. 7, 14, 21, 28, and you're counting by sevens. Show us what you're doing. Well, show us how to do it. It's to learn to pour without spilling. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so Annie and Ella, Easton, what have you done here? We made a building. Made a building with the pink and brown. The brown stairs and the pink tower, and you looked at the master and copied it. Okay, nice job, girls. Thanks. You work together as a team? Good. Thanks.